You probably know what this is, but this is a uh, bucket level indicator. This is 12 millimeter. This is real close, but I uh, had to adjust it just a tiny little bit. I want it right about there. So when you're in the cab, it's kind of difficult to see if your cutting edge is flat with the ground. That's where this uh, bucket level indicator comes into play. I like it adjusted right here, right where that, uh, that bend is. When it sits down in there, you know the bucket's going to be parallel or flat with the ground. Like that. So for two years, people have told me I needed a quick hitch, and I've actually had a couple of them, but I'm telling you, none of them worked as well as this one on the back of this Kubota. And I know people are going to say, oh, you're just saying that, but if you have one, and you're one of those guys that kept telling me to get one, let me know in the comments. That thing works really, really well. Um, you know, a lot of times you find yourself leaving an attachment on because you're going to need it two days from now. With that quick hitch, it's quick, it really is. But I am up here uh, almost to the old apple orchard. I'm gonna do a little brush hogging here before it rains. I was debating on staying in the woodshed today. I think it was a good move that I didn't. Uh, the temperatures were warm enough, but they are calling for a little bit of rain this evening. But uh, sometime this week, I'll get that done. And uh, once I get the brush hogging done up here, I'm gonna head over by the sawmill and clean up a bunch of those slabs and I uh, kind of get a little bit organized here before it gets dark tonight.
that worked great, the tractor and the brush hog. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, this brush hog is a uh, six footer. It's an RCF 2072 Land Pride. And that quick hitch I was telling you about is a QH15. Works perfectly. Everybody was right when they kept telling me I needed a good quick hitch. This stuff wasn't that tall up here, but what I like to do, you know, this time of year is to keep it mowed down pretty good. I don't like it to get too high uh, because the does, they start dropping their fawns. And I don't like brush hogging, you know, when they're doing that. But if you keep the grass down low enough, you can kind of see what's going on. I carried a couple, uh, you know, down trees and some brush over here. I have a uh, an old burn pit here. Sometime in the near future, I need to, uh, you know, burn up what's left in there and just kind of clean up the edges here. And then I'll backfill it and seed it. But I had that burn pit there when I cleared all this. All this up here looked like everything you see on the other side of the tractor. Actually, it was worse than that. Really, really thick. I used a uh, mini excavator up here. I have some old videos on that. If I can find one, I'll put it up above. I used a uh, Bobcat excavator and a thumb. Worked really well. But anyway, our house from here is way over that way. You know, you're down the bottom of this hill, and then you have the pond, and then up another big hill, and we're on the top of the other hill over there. It's a ways over there. So it is Sunday evening, and it's actually Mother's Day right now, so I'm going to head over to the house. But uh, I'm off work this entire week. I'm so excited. The weather looks pretty decent. You know, not perfect, but looks pretty good. I am actually make like a list. You know what I mean? Make a list and see what I can get done this week. But I'm pretty excited. Uh, we're going to get some things wrapped up and maybe start some new projects. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't mention this grapple. Let me show you this real quick. This is the Land Pride SGC 1072. That was the first that I used it. It's a six-footer. Uh, and it's got the uh, flat face couplers on the hoses, which are really nice. I don't know if you noticed when I was hooking this up. You know, you just have a rag. Wipe them off. They don't collect all that junk uh, like the other couplers do. I like flat face couplers. You know, just make sure they're clean, but you can wipe them right off if you have any dirt or debris on them. Hook them up, you're good to go. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. But before I wrap this up, I want to thank everybody who uh, watches our videos, who comments, sends the emails, the messages. We really appreciate it. We do our best to get back to everybody. Uh, sometimes it takes time, maybe a couple weeks. We get a lot of those each day, but keep it up. We read everything. It's just getting back to everyone. It sometimes becomes challenging. Uh, but I think that's about it. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.